if trying to hide this darkness inside of us, this chaos that's just bubbling beneath the surface, I wonder if that's, perhaps in some way that's dishonest. Perhaps you're correct. And he, and he goes, I think, actually, I'd like to see your fucking anger, Henry, with horrifying speed, punches the air upward, just whoo, and the wooden surface of the floor that you're standing on, almost like a, or exactly like uh, an earthbender from Avatar, a pillar of wood. One of them comes out and just hits Sparrow in the face so hard, he flies through the air and slams against the back wall of the room. The sparrow hits the wall and it like makes a fucking impact dent in the wall. He falls out of it and gets onto his hands and knees and then he comes up he comes up to just his knees and one little like stream of blood is running down his, his mouth. Sparrow! And, he goes, <clears throat> and he coughs and more blood comes out and he like tries to wipe it with his fist but he just ends up smearing it across his cheek. Henry fucking turns into a bear. Henry enraged lets out a feral bear roar and charges at Barry Oak with the goal of clobbering that staff out of his hands. You manage to get a claw on the staff, but he holds onto it tight. I'm going to use my second attack to try to bite through this staff. <laughs> uh, you bite into it, but he manages to grab the snout of your bare face and like hold it upward a little bit to prevent you from fully biting down with your full strength. But I'm going to draw the sword of pocket sand. As, is, as I draw it, a bunch of sand comes flying out towards Barry's face. Ooh. You move yourself right next to Sparrow, and he is like, I, I can do it. I can fight. And he tries to stand up, and his knees waver for a second, and he immediately falls back down onto oh, his knees no, as no. they buckle. Glenn like, kind of like temples his hands together, and then just like very quietly says to Sparrow, like, I think it would be really cool if you gave your brother the other gauntlet so he could have both of them. Oh, but I just, I just got it, but... You're right. That is a good idea. I'm just going to scream the Led Zeppelin. Ah! Oh, yes. Daryl confidently just pushes Peyton back, like, very clearly. And with <laughs> his motion, clearly he's telling both kids, Lark and Sparrow, like, step back. He grasps his axe, and he's going to try to chop the staff in half. Now take one giant leap and land on the back of Henry. So I'm riding <laughs> him. And I hold the axe above me, and I bring it right down right next to his head. The staff shatters at its midpoint, and the crystal atop of it begins to fall. So Barry is going to make a reaction, try to catch it. 